Good morning, everyone. This is Tim, and I hope you're doing well. Beautiful day in New York, and this is Harlem. Uh, beautiful buildings here, wonderful church up ahead. And I can't think of anything better to warm us up with some nice fried chicken, some soul food, comforting food, and I can't wait to explore. Just on Malcolm X Boulevard right here, and uh, there's a couple of places uh, that I heard that were quite highly rated, uh, from Jacob's to uh, Amy Ruth's. And I see Sylvia's up ahead. Heard that was a really good place, uh, but many people have suggested Amy Ruth's as well, so I can't wait to give that a try. Uh, but before that, uh, let's head over to explore some more. And I think we're just coming up. Come on, it's right over there. All right, so nice to get out of the cold. And uh, I can already see lots of good food here, all ready, all hot and steamy. Can't wait to give it a try. Hi, Aisha too. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. This looks amazing. So many things to choose from. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, there's a lot of food around, so you just have to look around, whatever that's pleasing to you. What's your, what's your favorite? What are the go-tos? I don't think they have my favorite today. Yeah. But I've tried multiple food in here, collard greens, or like, you know, mac and cheese, the rice and beans, oxtail would definitely be Oxtail? Oxtail. All right. And collard greens. Okay. And also mac and cheese. All right, all right. Oxtail, definitely gonna go for the oxtail. So really glad to get some suggestions from ISO too. So the oxtail, but let's just peruse and check this out. So a massive table here. I can see all the fish, the meats, some ham. And I think down there, that's the oxtail. And oh, the fried chicken. And of course, there's a really nice salad station. A bit of avocado and I think some fruits, but I think we're going to go for the salad a bit after. So let's get All started. Right. Grab the container. All right, so I'm going to watch myself here because uh, they go by the pound and actually it's about seven, eight dollars a pound. So it's not too bad at all. But let's see. I think I'm going to go down there where the fried chicken is located. All right, so mac and cheese, all stocked up. Okay, oh, that looks so good. Definitely gonna go for a piece of this. And I tend to like the thigh. I'll get a piece of the thigh there. Perfect compartment. All right, I gotta go for a little bit of the mashed potatoes. Okay, right over here. And I saw a lady doing this. She was at the turkey station. A little bit of turkey meat, but mainly she was here for the gravy on top of the potatoes. All right, moving on. Let's see. Okay, some baked chicken for the healthier folks and some beans for the even more healthier folks. And this is black eye pea. Ah, and I think this is smoked turkey. Give that a try a little bit here. A little bit of rearranging. Hey, not too bad. How are you? Some glazed ham, really nice. And oh, goat curry. Let's get a little bit of that. Rich and luscious. All right, just a little bit. And I actually got some rice next to the potato. Great veggies. Oh, and tilapia in its full form goodness. So I think I'm gonna be in trouble here. I'm just uh, lifting the container and it's, uh, can feel the dollar signs going already, but there's more. So how can we say no to ribs? Let's go for a little bit of that. Oh, it's nice and sticky. All right, candy yams. I think to offset all that richness, a little bit of sweet yams would be helpful. Baked lasagna, and we have some rice. Oh, short ribs. Okay, and these are massive pieces. Oh, look at that, right here. And peeking right over there is the cornbread. All right, let's go for corner piece. Lovely baked salmon, wonderful sauce. So I'm in a bit of trouble, the container's getting full, but there's two sides. So I think I'll make use of this because got some mac and cheese. Okay, the nice crispy bit right here. Some chicken. A little bit of rice, Jamaican style. All right, and this is what I'm looking for, the oxtail. Oh, look at that. 
the big one and the little one. And to finish it off, a little bit of collard greens for health. All right, so nice to get a table and uh, wonderful food here. And uh, it, uh, it certainly does add up. It was uh, two and a half pounds, but two and a half pounds of goodness. I think we'll go for a bit of a drink. The Jamaican cream. Okay, let's give this a try. Ah, cheers. Mm. Oh, very nice. Kind of like a clear ice cream float soda. Mm. Very nice, but we mustn't keep the fried chicken waiting. So we need to give that a try with our hands. Can't wait to give it a try. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Nothing wrong with nice juicy chicken, especially the thigh where you have a nice fatty bits here and there and lots of skin. Mm. Very nice and so easy to finish, especially these little bits here. I think you're gonna try that mashed potato. Mm. It's always nice to observe what people are doing and that turkey sauce gravy trick on the potatoes, that was a nice uh, lesson there. Oh. Buttery, rich, smooth potatoes, and with the lots of medley of the sauces from the turkey to that goat curry, that's contaminating it in the best possible way. Oh. Comfort food times 10. And speaking of the goat curry, let's give that a try. So a little bit of rice, a little bit of potatoes, and a curry sauce together. We'll try the goat next. Mm. Oh, so flavorful. Curry is cooked to perfection on the canvas of rice and creamy potatoes. I think this is a wonderful combo, but I think we gotta try that goat. And literally, it's just breaking up with a plastic fork. Mm. Absolutely tender, perfectly seasoned, and that tendon is nice and soft, just melts in your mouth. Mm. Always nice to have some luscious, meaty goodness on a cold day. I think we need to balance that out. A little bit of veggies, collard greens right here. Mm. I can get, I can certainly get used to this. Healthy veggies, lots of flavor, little bit of spice, and a bit of tang. Mm. Now that we have the veggies out of the way, let's try that short rib. And that's hidden by the cornbread. Oh, and I forgot I had another rib here. And what they give you here are plastic knife and fork, but that's all you need because, in fact, you don't even need a knife back of the knife it just falls apart oh my goodness oh all right a little bit here oh that is so good cooked low and slow absolutely tender and flavorful a little bit of sweetness and a bit of tang as well oh Mustn't keep the mac and cheese waiting. So that might have hardened up a bit. That's my fault. Too many choices, taking my time. That's okay. Lots of cheesy goodness on the edge. Mm. So rich. And the collard greens is a perfect pairing to cut through that richness. Mm. And I've been waiting to try this next to the collard green, the oxtail, the little one, and the big one. I think I'm just going to cut this almost effortlessly. Okay, absolutely effortlessly. 
it just kind of slips and slides around with that wonderful collagen uh, and a nice bed of Jamaican rice at the bottom, the perfect bite. Oh. Just savory goodness and it just warms you up on a cold day and this rice absolutely necessary it's cooked so long everything is tender and succulent mm. and of course i try a little bit of the peas mm. with the smoked turkey and the salmon oh. all right not a lot mm. Oh, the beans have been cooking for so long. They're actually rich and creamy, really soft and tender, and a bit of smokiness from that smoked turkey. Very, very good. Mm. So I think I'm going to finish this up because the container is only so full. And then I'm going to go back and uh, see what else we missed, and then we'll weigh it again, and uh, we'll uh, come back for some more. Cheers. Very nice and we'll take you back. Mm. That ox sale is so good and everything here was so easy to finish. I thought I'd had some trouble, but two and a half pounds of food, not too bad. And I think I'm going to see what else they have because we can go for round two and round three as much as you want. You just have to pay for it. So let's go for a little bit more. I think uh, we have some nice desserts here. And uh, let's see, round two. All right. I think, I think I'm just going to go for a little tray because all I think I can handle is a little bit of, I think this is banana pudding, the wafers, not a big fan of banana, but even then, let's give this a try. Right in here. And I think a little bit of fruit would go nicely with this. See, we've got some strawberries, uh, some pineapples. But over there, I see everything that's already combined for you. Let's go for some of that. Some blueberries, some watermelon on top here. And maybe a little bit more. And that's it because it's heavy and we're really watching our weight in another sense of the word. Round two is substantially lighter, and I think that tends to happen when you're charged by the pound. But that's okay. It's looking really good. I can't wait to give this a try. The banana pudding on its own. A bit of cookies. And that vanilla pudding. Mm. No. As I mentioned, not too fond of bananas, but this I can get used to because with the vanilla custard and the cookie, the banana is kind of sitting in the background. Very nice and luscious. Mm. Very good. Mix it up with a little bit of fruit, juicy watermelon, the perfect bite. Mm. Very nice. So, this is Jacob's Soul Food right on Malcolm X Boulevard in Harlem. Really fantastic place. Seven, eight dollars a pound. Try as much as you want. And just watch your weight as they say. And thank you so much for joining me on this place because we're going to do some exploring, lots of walking, and hopefully we can explore and find other great places. And again, I heard lots of good things about Sylvia's and Amy Roos. Can't wait to give it a try. The fried chicken here, pretty good. But let's try some fresh ones. And I think I'm just going to grab my drink. And we'll do some more exploring and we'll take you back for round number two. And hopefully more food. Cheers. The sun is out in full force, so it's warming up outside and inside. I'm really warm for that wonderful food. And uh, great to spend some time exploring 
and walking around and trying to build up a little bit of an appetite. And it's really good that uh, I didn't overdo it over at Jacob's. Uh, when they weigh your food, you're a little bit more cautious about what to get. So that's good because there's room for more. And uh, after a bit of walking, I think I'm just going to do some exploring and we'll head over to Amy Ruth's. Let's give that a try. A little bit of a walk, a bit of excursion and exploring. I think we're here. Amy Roos, 1998. Second appetite. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey Duke, how are you? I'm good. All right. Uh, not too bad. I heard you had really, you mentioned great fried chicken and waffles. Yep, we do. All right. Uh, can I, uh, can I get a seat? Uh, sure. All right. Duke, thank you so much. Can I dine in? You gotta wait. Oh, sure. All right. Thank you. Hi, Curtis. How you doing? Oh, this looks amazing. Yeah. It's a nice dining service. Oh, I can't wait to get yeah, into that fried chicken. Enjoy. So you oh. want to dine in one, right? That's right. So more like this All right. Ah, friendly face. Great table from Curtis. And let me show you the room here. Looks pretty amazing. So beautiful images here. And over there is another dining room. And I think that's Muhammad Ali. And sitting behind me. Ah, all right. So let me just take a look at the menu. So I think even without looking at this, I know what to get. I think it'll be the chicken and waffles. So this is pretty interesting. Really neat names here. And uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the original. I think that's gonna be the Revan Al Sharpton. Oh, and they have more. And this is pretty cool. After being distracted with the menu, complimentary cornbread. What a nice distraction. Oh. Mm. Oh, very nice. So I just ordered uh, the standard chicken and waffles and a little bit of sides. I think as good as Jacob was. Uh, lots of variety. I think the fried chicken and the mac and cheese and all that good stuff. Uh, while really good, I think it would be even better when it's nice and hot and made to order. And I can't wait to give it a try. And I'm looking at the dishes coming by. They are huge and I can't wait to take it back when the food comes. But for now, I think we can dig into the cornbread. Oh, nice and crumbly. A little bit of butter, a lot. Oh, crumbly goodness. That is a lot here. Okay. Maybe a little bit less. All right, cheers to you. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Nice sweet cornbread and a salty, creamy butter. Perfect match. Mm. Oh. And without a break, here comes the food. Thank you. Oh. All right. And there's more. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. All right, chicken and waffles arrive with a side of mac and cheese and cheesy grits. I'm gonna give this a try. First time having grits and nice and hopefully cheesy in the best possible way. Cheers. Oh, not bad. A little bit of the mac and cheese. Look at that pole, and I can't wait to give it a try. Looks already a lot different when it's made fresh for you. Cheers. Oh. Okay. Definitely a difference. Hot and fresh, made to order. Nice and cheesy and stringy. Mm. And as good as it was, I think we need to dig into the chicken. Ah, oh, nice and hot and crispy. Definitely a big difference when it's made to order. Mm. Oh. Nice and hot and juicy, painfully hot. 
but crispy, what a big difference. Oh, very nice. A little bit of sauce. All right, right on the chicken. Get a Frank's. Mm. Nice and tangy, beautiful kick. And next, the waffles. All right. Let's see. It's interesting because there's four quarters, but three butters. Something just doesn't add up. That's okay. Uh, in the nooks and crannies. Okay, spurt of the maple syrup or syrup. In Canada, I guess this would be maple syrup. All right. Ooh, feel the crisp. Oh, nice and crispy. Oh, look at that runoff. Soaking it all in. Mm. That is absolutely divine. Just like a cloud soaking up all that buttery richness and maple syrup goodness, or syrup goodness, and crispy, crunchy shell on the outside. Very nice. Mm. Inspired by the fried chicken when it's crispy and outside and juicy inside. And speaking of the chicken, I'll finish it up. Very nice. So I'm going to finish this up and uh, take it back to see what's more. Cheers. Oh. Good to the last bite. And I don't think I did it justice when I was uh, explaining the chicken. That chicken was so moist and juicy as you eat into it. It's just absolutely luscious. First time trying cheesy grits, very good. Needed a little bit of hot sauce, but that mac and cheese with that hot sauce made it just phenomenal. So as full as I am, Curtis was kind enough to suggest that one mustn't skip the dessert. But I don't know, after all this, I think I'm pretty full. Oh. oh, thank you. Wow, that's pretty big. Thank you. Well, I obviously couldn't resist and I got dessert and I worked it out in my mind. It's a lot cheaper getting it now than coming back from Vancouver. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But let's give this a try. So this is my hand here. It's the size of your hand really and it's thick. Oh, lots of walnuts, nice cream. All right, let's dig in. Oh, so soft and tender. Mm. Very nice. Tender and moist and not too sweet, which is always a good thing. Wonderful creamy icing and the nuts makes it extra special. Mm. So this is Amy Root, fantastic made to order chicken and waffles and all that good stuff, the mac and cheese, really good food. And Jacob's Soul Food, absolutely fantastic. All that variety, that luscious oxtail and that goat curry with the rice mixed with the mashed potatoes and the gravy and the curry. Just absolutely superb. Very different restaurants, both really good. And uh, I think I'm just going to continue exploring Harlem. And thank you so much for joining. I'm going to finish up this cake next, this red velvet cake, with a nice stripe of icing in the center. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well. And I hope you're traveling as well. 
So with that, take care. God bless and uh, look out for each other. Cheers. Very nice.